clearing the ice with a first meeting in over a year. South Korean President Moon Jae-in and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said they wished to improve ties amid the most heightened tension between their countries in decades. I am willing to improve this important relationship between Japan and South Korea by all means. Today, I would like to have a frank discussion. Our two countries' partnership is a win-win for prosperous trade and human exchanges. We cannot distance ourselves due to momentary discomfort. Relations have been strained since last year when South Korea's Supreme Court ordered Japanese firms to compensate South Koreans forced to work for them during Japan's colonial rule, an issue which Japan says was already settled under a 1965 treaty. The tete-a-tete -tete took place on the sidelines of a trilateral summit hosted by Chinese Premier Li Keqiang in the Chinese city of Chengdu. Beijing was keen to show its diplomatic presence as it brought together two of Washington's key allies. The issue that dominated the summit, tension over stalled denuclearization talks between North Korea and the U.S. The leaders of the three countries present promised to help promote dialogue on this. It is our three nations' goal to achieve denuclearization on the Korean peninsula and sustain peace in Northeast Asia. We all agree dialogue and consultation is the only effective way to solve the issues. After conducting a series of short-range missile tests, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has threatened to send a so-called Christmas gift if the U.S. doesn't make concessions in nuclear talks by the end of the year.